Hello darlings, I'm going to make something that my mum makes really well and it's our usual Sunday lunch. Now we call it meat wale jol, but it's basically rice cooked with some lamb or mutton or chicken you could actually use, um, but it's made in the stock that we're going to cook the mutton in. So let's crack on. First of all, you need a pressure cooker. Now, I've got some mutton here. Very important that you have the meat on the bone because the flavour comes from the bone for the broth. Now, I'm going to put some water into my pressure cooker. We want to put it in just enough that it'll cover the meat. Now, into that, I'm going to pop in my meat. Pop that in. Now, into this, I'm going to put in one chopped onion. As you can see, I've left the skin on. This is only purely for flavouring the stock and we're not we're going to fish it out later. I've got some ginger here. One, two. Got some garlic, again, skin on. Give it a little smash. And then this just goes straight in. I have some whole spices. Bay leaf, black cardamom, some cinnamon, coriander seed, cumin seed, black pepper, some clove. I'm just going to put a bit of salt in. We can check this later. I've got three small chilies. I'm not going to cut them, just pop those in. A bit of flavour. Give that a little stir. And then we put the lid on. Right, so I'm going to put my hob on this side and switch my pressure cooker. Pop that there. That'll take about maybe five or six whistles or until the mutton is done. Now, I'm bringing this pot over, because this is the pot we're going to make the rice in. Ghee, of course. Put a bit of ghee in here. Right, my ghee's hot. Into that, I'm going to put some cumin. Sprinkle it in. Give that a little stir. And once that starts sizzling, then I'll add my onions. This is a really simple recipe. It's not really about a lot of ingredients. It's all about fragrant ingredients and it's a delicate flavour. It's superb and it's so yummy, enjoyed with some, you know, plain yoghurt or a raita made with some grated cucumber, some chilli, maybe a bit of onion. Spot on. Right. That's nice and hot. So I'm going to add just one sliced onion. We're not going to colour this, we're just softening. So you can see my onions have softened, we're not browning them, so I'm going to just turn that down. And my mutton has had about six whistles. Now, I'm going to just bring this closer to me. And I'm just going to take out the pieces of mutton carefully. Doesn't matter if you get a few bits of garlic or a bit of onion in there. So I've removed my pieces of mutton. I'm just going to colour them a little bit. This just adds to the flavour because this is all about layering the flavour. Give that little stir. Now into that, I'm going to add my homemade garam masala. This is very important because this just adds another dimension to the whole of the dish. I'm going to add a little bit of chilli powder, not too much because it's not about the heat. This is all about the fragrance. Pinch of salt. Remember, there is salt in my stock. Give that a little stir. Put it on a low bead. I'm going to stick the lid on. Just for a couple of minutes while I go and drain my stock. Do not throw any of that away. Right, I've strained the exact amount of stock that I need for this particular dish. There is lots left over and when we were kids, our mother would pour it in a mug and give it us to drink. It's very good for you. Alternatively, with any extra stock that you have, if you get an ice cube tray, pour it in there and freeze it and just use it as and when. Little tip. Anyway, let's crack on. So, I'm going to pour all of this stock. So I've got two cups here and I had um, pre-soaked a cup of rice. So the same cup that you use to measure out the rice is the same cup you use to measure out the stock. 
Lovely. And now, here's the rice that I had soaked earlier. I've drained it, washed it. Now, when you're making this, don't soak your rice for too long because by the time it's finished cooking, if it's been soaking for so long, it's going to not cook properly and it'll be mushy. You want it to be like really like nice single grains of rice. So, I'm going to pop that in. Stir it. Let it come to a rollicking boil, which it is in a minute. Smells good. Right, now I'm going to get my clean cloth, cover lid on as tight as you can and we just let that steam it varies it may take i would say probably about seven to ten minutes but after about five minutes just give it a check check on the rice see how far, far you've got to go and then gauge it from that so now it's just a waiting game i think i'll go and get a cup of tea right this is ready it's taking about ten minutes Oh, lovely, and it's so yum. You can see all the grains are separate, cooked beautifully, and now it's ready to serve. There you go, guys. This is my meat dweller jol, just like my mum makes it at home. Thanks, mum. This is really yum. Enjoy.